Hey Youtubers, Writerbrin here, and today we're going to be talking about pumpkins. Ah. Okay, I'm going to have uh, show you this uh, pumpkin farm that I've come up with, um, based on kind of the wiki article on what a good pumpkin farm is, and we're going to show you how to make it automated and everything. So in this first part, I'm just going to show you how it's laid out. So here's what we have here. According to the wiki, if you have a row of nine pumpkins, you're going to have about a 45% return on the pumpkins. So uh, here is how you make it. This is going to be an automated harvester, is what this is called. And what you're going to do, I started out at the end here, and I just kind of made myself a layout of uh, uh, what is going to be on each of these rows. So this first row over here is wood, then you're going to have four rows of uh, dirt, a middle row of whatever you like, um, as long as it's not dirt. Four more rows of dirt and another row of wood. You can do whatever kind of wood you want. And here are the items you're going to need. This bottom row is what you'll need. The next row is what you'll want. Forget this row. This is just what's in my pocket. You're going to need redstone. Um, I didn't count it up. Bless you! I didn't count it up, but uh, you're going to need redstone, redstone repeaters, sticky pistons, some sort of wood, um, pumpkin seeds, dirt, a either a button or a lever, whichever choice you prefer, some, uh, this should have been up and optional, some oak wood stairs, um, and of course a diamond hoe. And you're going to need some glass, uh, optional, uh, bone meal, optional if you want to move stuff along quickly, and then the bricks are uh, optional. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. The sticky pistons are where the um, the pumpkins are going to sit, and this is nine rows. And again, that's about a 45% output. So you're going to put uh, you're going to have two sets of these, and on each side of the sticky pistons, you're going to put a redstone repeater in the first click. No pause. Uh, you can if you want. You don't have to. It really doesn't matter. Um, but I just put no pauses. And then you're going to want one redstone at the end of each one of those. So you got redstone, repeater, sticky piston, sticky piston, repeater. Um, and then you just do the same thing over here and put a row of redstone between the two. Pretty simple layout. Um, then you're going to go up to the top here and you're going to put another redstone in the corner and then another one and you're going to need another repeater right here. You're going to run out of signal on your last couple of uh, sticky pistons. Do the same thing in those corners, bring them together and bring it up here. Now this from here to there is what's necessary up here is your choice of where you want to go to your trigger. Um, I just took it up a couple of steps and see it doesn't have to be pointing towards this. Uh, it can be alongside it and when I then when I press this button, there goes all the pistons. So that is how it is created. Now let me show you what happens once it's created.
Alright, we're back and here it is finished and you can take a look here and we do have about a 50% um, harvest. This is what naturally occurred and they're always going to face south. So let's go ahead and harvest our pumpkins. There we go. And when the piston picks it up, it will not pull it back. It simply harvests it. Let's grab that. I don't know if that one just grew or it missed it. I wasn't looking that closely, so we will see. So we have 18 um, pumpkins. Each pumpkin will yield four seeds. There's a seed there, I guess because I stepped on the plant. Don't step on the plants. Each uh, pumpkin will yield four seeds, so 18 pumpkins will give us 72 seeds. So. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments section. I would like to see any suggestions that you have. Leave a video response of your pumpkin harvest. Um, and please rate and subscribe. Have a great day!